Here we are at one of the UK's crown jewels, the National Theatre. But if you're hearing impaired, all of that may mean nothing to you. But you guys are trying to change that. Over the last two years, we've been developing a new system, uh, which is called Smart Caption Glasses. I just want to put them on because I've tried virtual reality, augmented, mixed reality headsets, and they're usually pretty heavy. These, though, are fairly light. I suppose the only difficulty I might feel is the fact that you've got the foreground and mm -hmm. the background, and they're quite far from each other, so I kind of have to look down and look up at the subtitles. If you tap the keypad, you can change the way it's displayed. You can alter the size, you can alter the positioning on the screen. And a lot of people ah. love to have it huge, in pink, over the face of the performers so that they can lip read at the same time as, as reading the captions. This is essentially augmented reality. You're putting something digital or virtual on top of what you're actually seeing, somewhat similar to Pokemon Go. Will these be available for all the performances moving forward? It will be on every single night. Just how accurate is this technology that's following the text? We program in the script as it was performed on the press night. And worse, you called me pretentious. And the accuracy based on that is between 93 and 96%. If a performer jumps a few lines, the system will react. It'll take a second or two, but the system will react and it will recognize where it is. There's that iconic picture of people in a movie theater with 3D glasses, that black and white photo we've all seen. So do you envision a future where you'll see lots of people with this technology, whether they're hearing impaired or just wanting to hear or read something in a second language? I think that's, that's the next phase of what we're doing. We're really, really keen on introducing as many foreign languages as we can to bring audiences into the theatre so they can have the uh, same experience as everyone else. There's been overwhelming positive response, really for deaf theatre goers who would love to be able to come into the theatre any time they wanted. I used to go into the theatre with caption music. But with the glasses, it's much more enjoyable because I can follow the movement of the actors on the set and I feel it's more inclusive. I thought that the freedom to be able to read the captain and see the actors' face was a big improvement. Um, I've never felt I was able to do that until I wore the glasses. It's really fundamental that an organisation like the National Theatre in its really privileged position um, does this kind of work for the sector.